Hey everyone, it's been a while since I uploaded a tutorial video on this channel. So in today's tutorial, we are looking at something from my favorite gaming series. There is Assassin's Creed, you know that one step man game, because I love stabbing people. Only in video games of course. So if you have played Assassin's Creed, there is an ability which helps players to see their objects of interest. It can also distinguish between the target enemies and their allies. The target is golden, your enemy is in red and allies in blue. The ability is called Eagle Vision and it is a key feature of the game. By the way, this is my first voice over and it really feels awkward to record. Also, for this video, I will only be showing the main parts or steps required to achieve the effect. To make this tutorial short, otherwise it could be a long tutorial because you know, time is precious but if you want to see the whole process, please let me know in the comments. So after a really long intro, let's get started. First, I grabbed our NPC models and animations from Mixamo. Almost every developer knows about this site. From there, I took an ally, enemy and a target object, pitched some animations and exported it into my Unity project. Now I created a scene something like this with those three dudes and their respective animations. So here's the main deal. There may be multiple ways by which you can create this effect. For example, you can change object material whenever a key presses or something else. But I really wanted to minimize the programming part and make it quick and easy to work with. So, my approach was to use custom renderer, which came with scriptable pipelines. To use this, you need to set up your project with render pipelines. In this case, I am using universal render pipeline or you can say lightweight render pipeline. Then I made two different renderers, one for the default view and one when we toggle Eagle Vision and assigned both of them to the universal pipeline asset. After that, I created three different layers called target, enemy and ally and assigned game objects to the respective layer. Now, in the vision renderer and under default layer mask setting, uncheck the layer which needs to have material change whenever we toggle vision. In this case, these are target, enemy and ally. Now I created a new shader using shader graph and apply some Fresnel effect. You can use other effect as well and then made three different materials. Then, in the Eagle Vision renderer and under renderer features, I created three different render object settings and changed layer mask to NPC layers and applied the corresponding layer material to it. After that, I created two cameras, one for rendering objects as usual and another one when we enter into Eagle Vision mode. Then change renderer to default for default camera and vision for vision 1. Now for this effect to work. We need a way to change how an object renders whenever we go into Eagle Vision mode. So I created a simple script to change the active camera whenever we press a certain key.
Then I apply some post processing effects on the vision camera. So the advantage of using custom renderer here is that if you have played Assassin's Creed, you can see objects across walls. So you can pretty much do it easily with custom renders. You just have to set the depth test to always in render objects. So this covers pretty much the basics of how to achieve this eagle vision effect. Now you can add your own personalized effects to make it more nice. For example, you can add fade transition whenever we switch to eagle vision mode. So thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, hit like button and subscribe.